Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Another year of law school is just about to start, so I thought I would take this opportunity to answer one of the questions that some of you have asked in my comment section. Namely, what tools do I use in law school and what do I bring with me for a typical day of class? So I thought I would do a what's in my bag law school edition. As you can see, I use this Everlane drawstring backpack. It's kind of old at this point, maybe three years, three or four years old. So they don't have this precise model, I don't think, anymore, but they have a very similar one. Um, it's just a regular coated canvas. It's pretty big, as you can see. It kind of looks like a face. <laughs> and um, it just has these two side pockets and a padded laptop sleeve. But really, as far as the bag that people use, you can use pretty much anything you want. Some people use a very classic like Jansport backpack. Some people use like a big tote bag or purse, which I don't really recommend because it does get hard on your shoulders and back, especially in that first quarter or semester when you have a lot of books. The things that I don't see people using are briefcases or like rolly backpacks. You probably were not going to use a rolly backpack anyway, but just in case you were wondering, that's not really a thing, at least at this school. So, I actually don't carry that much with me for school every day. As you'll see, there are just a couple of major things that I absolutely have to have with me. So the first and absolutely most necessary thing is a laptop. It doesn't actually seem to matter exactly which laptop you use. The vast majority of the students here, as far as I can tell, have MacBooks, but that's really just a matter of personal preference. I also know people who have um, PCs and really like it. There are even some people who use iPads with a little keyboard in class, but I would recommend having a more a more powerful laptop to use at home or when you're doing assignments outside of class. But for note taking, an iPad is certainly okay, as long as you're comfortable using it. I have the 2015 MacBook Pro. It's a really big one, it's a 15 inch. You could definitely have an 11 or 13, whatever you would like. And um, as you can see, it's just really standard like that. Um, the only programs that I really use in law school are Microsoft Word and Google Chrome basically. Everything you'll do, it will be through a web browser or if you're writing papers, you'll use a word processor which is just Microsoft Word. Um, I did use Microsoft OneNote first quarter to take notes and that worked pretty well but in the end, I just defaulted to saving everything within a folder on my um, hard drive that was synced to Dropbox. So that way I automatically have a backup of everything and I don't necessarily need internet um, or anything to access my files either. But if anything goes wrong with your computer, especially that first semester or quarter, you do have a backup online. So that's what I do for my computer. Obviously, you also need a charger with you at all times. For my calendar, I use this traveler's notebook. I bought this in Los Angeles, but I believe it's a Japanese company. So it comes with a leather cover and inside are these notebook inserts that you can switch out as you please, which is really convenient. Normally I use one notebook for a quarter's worth of bullet journaling for the day. So I'll show you, uh, let's see. Well, this is my summer one, so it looks a little bit different, but basically a very short version would be like, I just have the task and the day at the top, and then as I go, I just check off uh, whether I've completed the task. If I need to move the task to the next day, I just use a little arrow mark um, and migrate it over to the next day. I do like writing my tasks down by hand because I find it helps me remember them better, but for my actual calendar, I use Google Calendar and do it online. It is much easier that way. I tried to do a full handwritten um, journal, including all of my engagements for the day, but it just didn't work because there are so many things going on in law school and you need to be able to modify or add notes or maybe even invite people. So having an online platform is just that much easier. And you'll also be able to add events directly from your email if you're using like iCal or Google Calendar. But I find that this dual system works really, really well. Um, the back notebook I keep just for like personal jottings or like longer term notes because I'll leave this one in this uh, set up for the whole year and then just switch out the first one as the quarters go by. And then I also have a little pocket insert just to keep like mementos or little notes that I need, um, anything like that. It's a really convenient system and I really, really like this journal. It's called the Traveler's Notebook by Traveler's Company Japan. You can get it um, on Amazon, I believe. I'll try to find the link and leave it in the description box 
or you can get it at, you know, if there's like a specialty stationery store in your town, they might have that as well. Really for the planner, you should just try a couple of things out within the first couple of weeks and see what fits your needs best. I know people who use a moleskin. I know people who put their tasks within their Google Calendar as well. Personally, I don't really like that because it can be kind of hard. There isn't a checklist function, for example, and I like having that feeling of writing it. But, so that's my planner. Carry my wallet, a water bottle. I always have a coffee thermos. This one is by Zoji Rushi, and it's really nice because it keeps things actually hot for over 12 hours. Like if you put hot coffee in here, it will be almost too hot to drink for the first five hours. This is really nice because even though I live super close to campus, I don't like going home during the day if I can help it, and I'm usually in the library or in another study spot. Next, I have my assortment of writing utensils. My favorite pens are from Muji. They make these really nice and very affordable pens that come in sort of thinner, smaller points, I guess. So this one is a 0.5, but they also have 0.38 and I think 0.25. Now that's not, that's a little bit too thin for everyday writing, like in your planner, because you might actually cut the paper, but in your case book, when you're writing in the margins, I find that having a super thin pen with you actually makes it a lot easier to fit a lot into the margin. Um, I'm going to be making a video on the best way to sort of take notes and stuff, but for those of you who will find that you like making notes within the actual case book itself for class, you might want to invest or just get one of these. I also have just whatever number of random regular pens. And then I have my highlighters. So I use six colors for case briefing and it's color coded, which I will explain in the note making video. Um, but this pink one is a huge one because that is the one I use the most and it runs out the fastest. So of course I have my case book. I don't read my case book online and I actually don't really recommend it. Um, depending on your learning style, I mean, some of you might like it more, but I find that the amount of reading you have to do within your casebook, especially the first year, means that if you're doing it all online, you, you will probably give yourself greater eye strain. And it's also harder to make meaningful notes online. I don't know, there are these studies that show that when you handwrite things, you tend to retain them better or process them um, more efficiently, that sort of thing. So for example, in the spring, I carried around this evidence casebook a lot. This is actually the smallest casebook I've ever had. It's very thin. Um, but as you can see, I would mark it up and then put little notes near like the problems that were in it or near things that I wanted to remember. Evidence is the only class so far I've had where the casebook itself has had problems within it to solve. Uh, most of the time it's just cases and then analysis of the cases. So that's it for the major things in my bag. Everything else is just small things that I need to get through the day. Also for class, we use these clickers sometimes. The professor will put like a hypothetical question on the board and then you can choose what outcome you think is most likely based on the case law you've read. And your clicker will register that and you'll see you know, how the class as a whole thinks about an issue, which is pretty interesting. Let's see, I have some aspirin. I have hand lotion. Some mints. Some eye drops my AirPods, some lip balm. Right now I really like this Glossier Coconut Balm.com for the summer, and some hairpins. So those are just the little things that I have with me all of the time in case I need them. But as you can see, it's actually a pretty lightweight setup. Other than your computer, your planner, and the book for class, you don't need that much more. Everything else is just up to you. During the fall, I definitely would carry many more books and they would be twice or maybe three times um, as thick as this evidence case book that I just showed you guys. But most law schools, I think, will have a locker set up. So here at Stanford, we have lockers assigned to us, just like in high school, and you can drop stuff off there during the day if you don't want to carry your book back and forth or carry it with you all day. So that is basically what is in my bag for law school. If you guys have any more questions about it, please let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now and let me know what other kinds of videos you'd like to see or what other topics you'd like me to potentially cover um, in these law school videos. Thank you, bye.